show the relationship between Pascal's triangle and powers of 11. I didn't even know this was a thing. This is pretty cool. Pascal's triangle is created by continually putting ones on both sides and then in the middle, adding up the two numbers right above it in either corner. So one plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus three is six. Something really cool shows up when you compare this to powers of 11. 11 to the zero equals one. That's a one. 11 to the one equals 11. Well, that's 11. 11 squared equals 121. That's one, two, one, and so on. At 11 to the fifth, it looks like it's broken because this is one, six, one, oh, five, one. This is one, five, 10, 10, five, one, but it's not actually broken. Watch this. If you say we can only have one digit in each of the slots, this 10 would carry the one over here and the five plus one would make this a six and the one is now gone. So this is a zero right here. And we have to do the same thing for this 10. This one is going to get carried over here, making this zero, a one. And then this right here is going to be a zero. And then we have a five and a one. So now we have just single digits in each of the spots. And guess what? One, six, one, oh, five, one, one, six, one, oh, five, one. And this will continue to be true even as we move on to more powers of 11. You guys are awesome. Comment on what you'd like me to talk about next. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Andy Math.